G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and today we're going to talk safety gear. The basics of what potentially you should take out to the bush with you when you go metal detecting. The first thing that you should potentially think about taking out with you when you go out detecting is some sort of first aid kit. Now, Miner's Den, they have the snake bite kit, which is a ripper thing to take with you. A couple of compression bandages, blankets to stop uh, uh, shock setting in, texture to mark where the snake bite area was. And that whole little setup does not take up very much space. The one that I take out with me is in the battery pack on the old Pro Swing 45 harness. And this is what my lovely wife made up for me. I have a compression bandage. I have band-aids in there. And I also have a bottle of antiseptic spray. Uh, this is just the basic. If you get bitten by a snake, there's the compression bandage. If you happen to cut yourself pretty bad, you can put some spray on it, put a band-aid on, you'll get back to the ute all right, and you can seek metal, medical advice if you need to. The next thing that you should probably take out with you is uh, a nice broad brimmed hat. I'm more of a fan of a broad brim hat than a cap because you've got protection for your tops of your ears, you've got protection for the back of your neck. Now with sun protection too, a long sleeve shirt is a good idea. Yes, they get a little bit warm, but this one is particularly thin, so it's a nice looser weave. You can keep fairly cool with it. Uh, you'll also want to put on some sunscreen as well, because that never ever hurts. And the other thing that you might want is a pair of sunnies. Now, because I wear glasses, these are the fit over type for me. They might not be the best looking thing, but they'll stop the glare on your eyes and uh, it'll protect them a lot more. Another thing that you probably should take is a pair of gloves. Uh, the best ones that you can get will be the cut resistant gloves because we dig around in the ground and there is always, especially going for relics and coins, in old areas, there'll be broken glass. And the last thing you want to do is actually stick your hand in and swipe away the stuff and slice the tip off your finger or whatever other part of your body. So a good pair of cut resistant gloves are always a good thing to have in your kit. Now, we are in summer and it was only a couple of days ago that I saw my first brown snake. Snake armor or snake gaiters or gaiters or whatever you'd like to call them. These have Kevlar in them, so strips of Kevlar. I suggest strongly that you get yourself a set of these. They go on quite nicely, under the leg, around. You strap those around behind the leg there so you've got full protection. And then of course you would do the clips up and they're fairly comfortable to wear. Uh, I have seen some around that don't have the protective panelling on the back. Again, uh, these are from Mine Lab. Uh, sorry, from Miner's Den here, and they are an absolute brilliant pair of, of uh, gaiters. I bought a pair for my son for Christmas. He loves them, but especially in summer, well, in fact, when I start seeing the skinks come out around home, these start going onto my legs. Very, very worthwhile investment. The last two things that we should take out with us all the time, all the time, is some water, whatever container you want to have it in. This one's a stainless steel one. You can wash it out, you reuse it. Make sure you have water. You must keep hydrated out there. Um, a thing that you could do too is if it's really hot, but you still want to detect, chase the shade as well, but make sure you have your water. And the last thing that you really should take with you all the time is your phone. If you're in trouble, you can call someone, call a friend, could get you out. Sometimes it's just handy if you go, hmm, I think I'm here, check your Google Maps or your Google Earth. But don't leave home, it's like an American Express card, don't leave home without it. It could very well 
be the difference between you surviving or not surviving an accident out in the bush. So that is a brief overview of safety gear that you should potentially take out into the bush with you. They're just small things, and as you can see, that doesn't actually take up a great deal of room on your body. This is the basic, you could take more, I certainly wouldn't take less. So, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and that's been a top tip for the Mind Lab Show.